out good. Um, right a rock and um, looking forward to the start. Yeah, I'm all, uh, I'll be good to go. Is it difficult to uh, to be traded in new market at uh, 31 years old like that? Yeah, I mean I've I've gone through it before, um, so it's actually you know nice. It's it's right before camp, so I kind of still get to camp with the guys and uh, you know work into the systems of, of what we want to play. So um, yeah, it, I mean it sucks at the same time, but um, it's a good time. Initial reaction when you learn. Um, obviously mixed emotions, uh, really close with the guys in, uh, in van, um, but, uh, excited for the opportunity. I think, uh, a breath of fresh air is, uh, kind of needed, so, um, definitely excited to be here. Did you expect that kind of, uh, decision from the Canucks? Um, truthfully, yeah, I think, um, it was, uh, you know, I've been in the league long enough, and you can kind of, you know, take hints without, without there being any. And um, so, uh, figured, uh, figured something may happen. What have the last ten? What the last ten months been like to you, just mentally? Oh, crazy, um, to say the least. Um, you know, I went through a lot, um, but uh, you know, pretty uh, excited where I'm at now. Um, you know. I think anyone, if anyone said I could be here now uh, from where I was, taking any day of the week. So, um, you know, happy, excited, ready to get back at it. Can you give us the, the big picture of what happened after the surgery to your hand? Uh, <laughs> we, we don't got enough time for that. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of stuff do you want to bring to the Montreal Canadiens? Um, I think just veteran leadership. Um, you know, I. I think I play a certain style of, uh, away, uh, you know, straight kind of guy, straight line kind of guy, good on the walls. Um, so um, it's uh, going to another team where I'm kind of the old guy. <laughs> so um, but, uh, it'll be nice to do your own young, fresh faces again and get the you know, energy back up. You, you was saying that your hand was uh, 80% now. Uh, is, that, is that about right? Is that how you feel? No, uh, it's actually more um, now. Um, Probably, you know, let's say 9% difference right now, so um, strength-wise anyway. So, um, you know, I'll take that any of the week. Yeah. So yeah. Not that you want to relive a nightmare or anything, but how did it get to that point where you had to, had to have so many surgeries to have it solved? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not getting into that, guys. I think, um, you know, I, I know it's a, a big topic and people want to wanna know, but uh, it's... Uh, it's not going to come from me. Did you get any text messages from guys here? From yeah. Uh, got, uh, I don't know how many yesterday, but uh, guys welcomed me. Um, know a few guys um, here already, so um, that's nice to, to see. For that. Uh, well, I play World Junior with Gallagher. Um, we are actually roommates, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but no Monahan a bit. Uh, Anderson, I've done a wedding with him. Suzuki from Summer Skates, so um, there's enough guys where, where I know the face. So you didn't play for like 10 months. How, do you think, uh, how long do you think it's going to take before you come back at the level you were used to be? Yeah, I think that's why it's good that you know this happened now. and um, One, to you know get used to the systems, but two, to, to get back into, you know let's say, game shape. I, I, know I think I'm in good shape, but um, get back up to speed. And, uh, you know, it's... I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's I think the excitement is is more there than nerves just to be able to to do this again. You originally exactly, broke. When exactly did you did you resume skating uh, this summer, and how how much later was it compared to? Uh, um. Oh, uh, I actually was able to skate fairly early. I think maybe June um, was when I started skating. It was still no pucks, but at least I could get back on the ice and um, and get the feel for that again. You originally broke the hand in a game here at the Bell Center, mm -hmm. right? What if, do you remember what happened in the play exactly, or how, how the injury happened? Yeah, it was just a fluky play. One of the boards, and my fingers kind of split, and just one side gave out. Ken Hughes was saying yesterday that he was hoping to add some gray air to the team. <laughs> I saw. That's why you keep, <laughs> you keep <laughs> Are you ready to play that, that type of role, being a mentor for the younger kids? Out there? 
Yeah, for sure. I think um, it's kind of the same role I had in Van too. Um, you know, obviously, it's it's different being with a lot of new guys. Um, you know, maybe a bit more quieter at first, but uh, you know, just getting the you know more comfortable as the day goes on will will definitely help that. What if anything did uh, did your buddy Tyler Tripoli tell you about playing in Montreal? Um, I actually have a few boys that played here. Um, Toff uh, Toff was excited for me. He was actually. It was ironically yesterday he texted me right after I got off the phone with LV, just wondering what was up, and he spread the word faster than I think <laughs> everybody. Because next thing you know, Gallagher was texting me. I was like, "How do you know?" And um, but no, he's uh, he loved his time here. Um, uh, a lot of great things to say. Great thing about the organization, obviously. Um, you know, it just makes you uh, so much more excited to come. How what do you heard to be referred to as a gray hair at 31? <laughs> that's just the way the league's going I think uh, I've been if you want to go that way I've been that guy in, in van for you know I think I've been the oldest forward on the team there for two years so um, nothing new what have you heard about what Marty St. Louis has been doing here from friends around the league you guys? yeah I, obviously I think when he came he brought a lot of um, excitement and enthusiasm um, uh, obviously good buddies with Toffoli and and Sherrod and Hoffman, so um, you know, have three guys I've played under him, and also good things. Did you have time to uh, meeting with him? Uh, quick chat this morning. Uh, yeah, it's been kind of a hectic morning meeting everyone. Um, so it's uh, I briefly spoke to him, introduced myself. He, he messaged me yesterday, so um, yeah, I'm sure as the camp goes on, we'll get uh, more familiar with each other. When you look at the current roster, uh, would you like to play with uh, particular players here? Uh, no, I'm just trying to, you know, fit in right now. I think wherever I'm slotted, I'm, you know, I'll try to do play my game and do my job. Um, you know, I think my game is pretty black and white, so it's not going to change depending on who I play with. Trades are usually harder on family members and the players. Which mm -hmm. is, what's your family situation as far as coming to Montreal and settling and whatnot? Yeah, I got. Uh, um, two young kids, so they're actually still back in, in van with uh, with my wife, so they're uh, packing everything else up, and once that happens, they'll uh, and find a place. I'll find a place out here. They'll come out here. So um, yeah, that's a that's a crappy part about uh, the side of this business. Um, so um, definitely looking forward to when they can come. You mentioned being able to play with them at the end of the season and, and just wanting that back. Um, what was that like, just in terms of? not knowing if that was going to happen and, and just the uncertainty of, of everything. Yeah, um, honestly, I tried not too much to, to think about that. Um, you know, like I said, at the end of last year, I was literally taking it day by day. Um, and as long as the next day was better than the last, then, then we're doing the right thing. And um, fortunately enough, it kept uh, kept getting better and better we're to the point that everyone was, uh, you know, all good with me pursuing my career again. Was there a point that you thought that maybe this was going to be it last year? Um, honestly, uh, it was kind of 50-50. I don't think I was leaning either way. Um, but could have gone the opposite way? Yeah, I probably could. Um, but at the end of the day, we're not there, so I ain't thinking about that. Injury aside, it was a pretty chaotic year, I think, in, in Vancouver in general, even leading up to your injuries. That are you looking for a sort of fresh start to? Put no, yeah, hundred percent. I think uh, hopefully, hopefully today is the last day I'm talking about it. So um, <laughs> I, I imagine that's not the case, but um, hopefully it is. Thanks, Tanner. Thanks, Tanner. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.